you are watching Hollywood PQ. Love. Lust. So you've played here at the Metropolis yesterday night. How did it go? It was amazing. I mean, Incredible. Sold out show. Sold out. As I've heard. Crazy audience. Amazing. Just like Montreal always is. Yeah, and tonight we have another one. We get to do it twice. Twice. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Uh, what is it like to play two, two nights in a row in the same location? Do you get to enjoy more, one concert more than the other? Well, no, but you do get to be in the same place for yeah. two days, so the second day becomes much more relaxed. That's what I was going to say. And allows us an opportunity to talk to wonderful people like you. Well, you get to be in the city <laughs> as well, and you, you know, to maybe take a, a moment to go for a run or eat at a restaurant or embrace the culture, and Montreal is definitely a city that you want to have two shows in. That was my next question, actually. Do you have any favorite spots in Montreal? Oh, yeah. I right? love uh, Olive and Gourmand. Uh, that's yes. a great place. Yes. Uh, what is it Europe. called? Vive? Uh, what's the health food restaurant called? Uh, uh, Vive. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. That's very great. Can you tell me about your Quebec fans? Are they any special from anywhere? Well, they are. They're very spicy. Um, they uh, are slightly sweet. Um, uh, crispy around the edges <laughs> at times, and you, you, they're you bite size. You can put them right in your mouth. And the, the tiny little granulated sugar that you can feel between your teeth, oh, between the bites. What a pleasure! So, so you really you you tasted your your fans here. Oh, we always... many many times. <laughs> well, that's great. Um, the last track of your last album, Love, Lust, Faith, and Dreams, is called uh, Depuis le Début. And there are a lot of lines that are in French in your music videos. Do you speak more French than that? Yeah, sure, of course. Je parle français très bien. Good. That's impressive. <laughs> so you've be impressed. You speak both languages as well. <laughs> do, you, do you have a special relation to foreign languages or just French? Well, there are other languages that we use. Uh, Spanish, Russian, Chinese is on Love, Lost, Faith and Dreams. But yeah, French is a, the language of love. It's the, the language of, of beauty and uh, passion. So we appreciate uh, the French culture. Uh, my grandfather spoke French and was uh, actually Cajun. He lived in Louisiana. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so he was a Cajun. Uh, and it's a part of the family, I guess. Good. Okay. And uh, everybody knows that you put a lot of effort into your music videos. I would like to know what's the importance of images in your creative process. I mean, it's another way to express uh, yourself as an artist. I mean, Jared obviously being the mastermind behind those things. And it's a way to look at the songs in a different way. Did I do it again? <laughs> I do that. And he... Okay. <laughs> Just teasing. <laughs> I'm not aware of it, but I guess I do that all the time. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's a way to, uh, you know, to just show the, the music in a different light. Good, okay. And from the four main themes of your album, which is love, lust, faith, and dreams, which one would, would describe you the best as an individual and as a band? I mean, if I had to pick one, I would say dreams. But I don't think that you can live a life without those four elements. I think those are the human elements. Uh, you have earth, wind, water, fire. Yeah. The elements of uh, the earth, but I think the human elements are love, lust, faith, and dreams. Okay. How about you? I couldn't. I couldn't. You I couldn't just, possibly say it better. So. You just agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so, um, as everybody's heard, uh, you your first single up in the air was uh, projected into space, which is kind of a big deal. I was wondering how this such an improbable opportunity presents itself. Well, Jared wakes up one day and says, "I have an idea." Really? <laughs> it came out from you? So you've sold 10 million albums uh, worldwide. How would you explain such a big success? Did we sell 10 million you albums did. worldwide? As of May 2013, Wait. you have sold over 10 million albums. 10 million That's albums hysterical. worldwide. I'm glad I'm the one to tell you. <laughs> That's just funny. Is it? Yeah, it is. It's a good news, though. Huh? It's great news, yeah. It's and fantastic. What do you think makes you so successful? Congratulations so to you as well. Uh, <laughs> I think probably Persistence. Yes. Persistence has a great to do with, has a great deal to do with our success. All the hard work. Yeah, we work really hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We work really, really hard. I think a lot of people that have may have an idea of what a musician is, what a rock star is, would spend a day with us and be shocked. Definitely. At what a day is like, and it's great work. I love every single second of it. I'm so grateful for all of it. We do so many amazing things, but it's it's nonetheless it's a it's a lot. You give up a lot to do these other things. Dreams don't always come without sacrifice, without consequence. And, uh, but what wonderful sacrifices they've been. 